All right, hey guys, good morning. It's a Saturday morning and I'm out here doing some detecting by the river. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm just doing like an hour or so uh, before I link up with my dad. And basically, uh, I, there's my car. This right here, this strip between the alleyway and the river is owned by the city. Um, we had a flood back in 2008 and a lot of property uh, was kind of forked over to the city and bought out uh, because of the flood and nobody can build on it. Problem is, it's, it, the good thing is it's really old. I mean, that house over there is an old house. There's old houses all around. This is an old area of town. Uh, but the problem is when they tore down houses and reworked stuff, I think this has all been reworked. So I'm trying to stick right along the edge here where they wouldn't have got, wouldn't have gotten. And you can see the old stone retaining walls and stuff. So anyways, I got a signal here. It wasn't very deep. It was a 1445, 1345. I thought it was going to be a dime. And what it ended up being is this really neat pin. And I don't know what it's for, but it says on it, it's got like a Latin phrase here. Let's see if we can get it to... All right, there we go. So it says, at the top it's got like some Latin, and then it says SSMH Iowa. I have no idea what this means. It's got a cross on it and some trees and, or a church or something. I'm not quite sure, but I'll look it up. It's This is pretty cool. I am pretty excited about this because this is old. <laughs> they don't make them like this anymore. So, all right, let's keep at it. All right, guys, making my way back to the car. Finally got a, a, a good coin signal. Dug down, it's about five inches down. It's a 1934, excuse me. Wheat penny. Why this camera doesn't focus? is beyond me. There we go. 1934. It's in good shape. I like I like him. So, all right. Finish this out back to my car and then uh, we'll go see where else to go. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm still here and uh, got my best chance for silver by the sounds of it. So let's see what we got here. Lots of roots down there. That's not going to be fun. But it was squeaking up high. The, actually, the roots is a good sign. That means that this land, this ground hasn't been worked by anybody. So uh, let's see if it's still down in there. the hole so it's gonna be right in here. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know what this is. I've never dug a large scent before. not a large scent. I don't even know if it's a coin. Holy cow. It's got writing on it. Copper clad, <laughs> okay, so that says copper clad, 
um, crank club. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? This is a copper clad crank club. Is that a metal detect? Oh my goodness. What the heck is this? This, oh my goodness. Hold on a second. I gotta. It says, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says copper clad crank club. I swear it's a metal detectorist on there. Let's see what this says. Uh, B. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Bear with me here. Be a user of. Be a user of the copper clad. Cray Life member. Copper clad Cray Life member of the Wish. Wish had. What? It has not. I don't know what this is. This. This. That's not a. That's not a metal detectorist. That's, I don't know what this is. This is... Copper clad crank club. Is this for World War II? Because there's Nazi swastikas on this backside. I don't know if you can see that. Let me... I don't know if you can see there I'm I'm going to have to get some video with my better camera be a user of the copper clad and then it says CRA life cray cray life member of the wish had it doesn't make any sense at all I don't know what this is but it does have swastikas on it uh, and that's that's what concerns me because there's no way a metal detectorist would ever put something like that on there and it's it's got swastikas and it's got a four leaf clover or something down there I don't know I'm gonna have to get this washed up but this is my most bizarre find I've ever found unbelievable that's cool all right and I'm still just trying to get out of here, so. All right, guys, uh, we've moved locations. Went, picked up, picked up my dad, and uh, we came out here to this place, and uh, just dug a wheat penny. It's pretty crusty, so I can't get a date off of it, but I do know it, it is a wheat penny. And uh, he, he's already dug a 19. Uh, 35 mercury dime so he's he's on the board with silver so all right let's keep at it all right guys got a, a decent signal here that i believe is going to be a wheat penny so let's dig it out and see what we have here There's a little chunk of iron nail there. I don't think that's the signal, though. Let's see what we got here. Out of the hole. All right, it's in here in this little clump. And it is, it is a wheat penny. So... See if I can get a date off of it. These gloves don't rub very, very well. I, I, know, I got new ones. They're rubber and they don't, they don't work out too well for cleaning off the old crusty wheat. 
1952D. That's what we got there. So, awesome. All right, we'll keep at it. All right, guys. Uh, got a deep one here. This one sounds like silver. So, let's see what it ends up being. I have not dug a silver coin yet today. My dad has just got the one silver Merc I've dug. You know, a few wheat pennies. So, I think we got a couple of those on live dig. So, this was sounding pretty good. Well, let's let's hope. It's been kind of cool. The National Guard is out here where where I'm at doing exercises and stuff, and there's helicopters flying over uh, pretty regularly and pretty low. It's pretty cool. And then every once in a while, they'll just kind of walk by carrying their gear and their weapons and stuff. Whoa. So it's right at the bottom of the hole. Let's see. Should be in this clump here. No. Okay, this can't be it. It's a little lead shot looks like a 22 so there's no way that that's the target all right i got something in the pile oh yeah all this time Oops. all right here it is And it's a Merc, so yeah, finally, 1936 looks like, so awesome, finally, it's been a long time coming, there's got to be some more around here, so we'll keep at it.